hi all so today's video i think i can share something with you like how to become a google cloud engineer so this is the most asked the question in my youtube and my linkedin also i already created one video but i think today i can give some kind of uh, means helpful uh, insight for you so that will be better to attend more people to the examination and get certified so coming into the google cloud associate data engine this is the one i completed on the january 8 2023 okay so uh, for me i am coming from an azure background i have already this much of years of experience in the cloud itself okay then uh, it will took around one month of time to complete preparation and crack the certification i think it was an easy one but at the initial stage i got some kind of stuck for example for azure i can relate it to some services but when the cloud cloud in the google cloud it was different name was different so that was the one thing i just stuck on time but over time that means continuously and constantly i learn it i can able to easy so that is the thing that is the main reason i think uh, what are the ways i uh, learn these things share with you today so when you do this more information you can search google cloud engineer or associated google engineer then this is the link associated cloud engineer when i click this one uh, you can see here associated cloud engineer okay the associate cloud engineer means associate cloud engineer deploy applications monitor operation these are the main job criteria okay the manage enterprise solution they use google cloud console and command line interface to perform common platform based tasks to maintain one a uh, one or more deployed solution that leverage google managed or self managed services on google cloud okay then the associate cloud engineer exam possibility to first me first we need you your ability to set up a cloud solution environment deploy and implement cloud solution configure access security this is important plan and configure a cloud solution ensure successful operation of a cloud solution so these are the main thing they are focusing once we complete the exam okay so if you need you can register here click on the register i will before i will give some kind of insight about the examination uh, the length of the this is the one of the question i got length of the exam duration will be two hour so two hour will be get to complete the examination and registration fee will be dollar 125 uh, normally it get from our company because companies are providing these certification they are the reputation of the part of the reputation they are giving to these kind of free vouchers or free webinars or sometime uh, when the google cloud uh, we are when you notify these things in your mail uh, you can register here your name and all then sometime they will notify the vouchers are available okay you can use that time there are two two things we can use at a time then what are the languages it is available like english japanese spanish portuguese then exam format uh, this is also one of the question asked in the youtube uh, youtube video i already created one youtube video regarding this if you need more insight from that one you can check that also uh, exam format 50 to 60 multiple choice uh, so most of the question 99 percentage of the questions are multiple choice question so we need to pick which is the correct option that is the only one thing we need to do in the exam hall but when you're reading the examination we will think like it is different or it we, we are just kind of confusion which is the correct answer so avoid those confusion definitely we need to know how these are the things and clear understanding of the concept so that is the one i'm suggesting before you going into the examination hall then exam mode will be two things maybe you can use the online proctored examination or using the test centers before covid all were uh, reported to the test centers but we right now we have an option using the online proctored exam if you uh, using this one for the remote location what are the things i will tell you you need to enter in a room with the space with the uh, if you have a room if you are quite place in your quiet room in your house so you can choose that room enter the room and you need to check is there any uh, wall any uh, thing for example sticky notes or any other things for our vision boards we are implementing you know, a sticky on our 
uh, walls means surrounded wall so that they will not prefer okay if that kind of thing they will ask to remove it so before the entering the exam you definitely careful about these kind of thing you need to look up every wall means every four every wall anything don't want to hit or stick anything there if there is something you need to remove it then come to that uh, room then the desk you need to show them because they will ask you to show your surroundings okay and uh, you, they not allowed any kind of papers in your desk and also be prepared and your camera definitely will be on they will give a software once the so because once you enter the uh, means you are apply the coupon and everything there will be a test testing uh, uh, one software they will give you need to take and you need to install in your computer and, and at the moment they can understand there is any antivirus or something background working on background it will not work so that is important so before you enter your exam hall you need to focus that kind of thing anything uh, any antivirus or firewall is logging you need to disable it any kind of pop-up that also you need to disable then you can use your computer then you need to clean your desk and all every everything surrounded in a room you need to clear everything and they will if someone in near to you that will also will be a problem so be quiet and in a good position uh, then start your exam so that will be my advice then prerequisite is none but they are recommended if you have some kind of six months of hands-on experience in any google cloud or any other cloud it will be more advantages as compared to previous one because if you have some kind of insight most of the cloud are when you learn from the aws azure or google you can understand like that the solutions and the products are always same but names are slightly different and working or most similar working but some kind of uh, minute uh, things are also there so you need to understand that one that is the reason they are mentioned like that this is not a mandatory but google recommend this thing then certification renewal once you get the exam for example today 2022 03 2023 right so if you take the exam today and after the three years so it will be valid for the next three years that means extra one year that uh, previously i think one year i don't think i don't know i still still not remember but uh, this is an opportunity because next three years the certification in your name okay so that will be good then so this is about the exam i think hope you're clear about exam and all and one more question i think in the youtube video ask them any external monitor you can use i'm not sure about that one maybe you can use but we can install the uh, they are given they are giving some kind of software right that we are installing in our system so monitor will not be an issue i think i'm not sure <laughs> okay then uh, first step will be exam review you need to before attending the examination you need to at least real world experience at least what are the process how you can but i think like if you have a uh, Azure, if you previously work as an Azure data engineer or AWS data engineer, you can easily crack this in within one month. So that is my uh, my opinion and my experience. But you need to know what are the uh, different things are available, different cloud, cloud technologies available, that kind of understanding you need. Then uh, what are the training? So you can see here there is a follow the learning path. This is very important. So start preparing There's an option to start preparing then you click on the start preparing option they can give join to subscribe that means every uh, I'm not joining right now the cloud engineer learning platform everything is available here you can course you can start everything like for example Google Cloud how the lab started prepare your associate cloud engineer journey fundamental core cloud uh, infrastructure everything uh they're mentioned once you complete this one you can get a better understanding okay so that is the reason it is very important so before you going into there you can use this also hmm? then uh okay sample question yeah one more sample question i will review the exam content so before going to you can i will suggest you to definitely you need to go for some kind of uh, previous exam okay so like give us Devi Krishna I will give some Devi Krishna or uh, 
I'm giving another mail ID. Internet organization. I'm not giving anything right now. If you send the offers and all, you can give the S. Okay. Next. So this is kind of question you are getting. Your organization plan to migrate a financial transaction monitoring application to Google Cloud. Auditor need to view the data and run report in a big query, but they are not allowed to perform transaction in a application. You are leading to migration and want to simpler solution and that will require at least the amount of maintenance. What should you do? So these kind of uh, scenario based question you will get. But most probably all of the things are multiple choice. You can see here the 22 questions are there. So you need to practice the my suggestion. You need to before going to exam, you need to practice the exam topics also. But when you come into the exam topic kind of thing, very importantly, most of the questions answers was wrong in the exam topic. Definitely, you need to go to the discussion part and find the correct answer. Then only you can clear the exam. So this is my suggestion. So definitely because that time what I did like I created one sheet and uh, I created the correct answer there. Then I'm explaining what are the explanation giving to that correct answer. Then I, I went to the exam. So that is my suggestion. You can use there. So this is the uh, correct learning path I can give you. I think team, uh, you can clarify all the doubts. If you have any kind of doubt, you can let me know. So first thing before the examination, briefly I will tell you. Before the examination, you need to go to these kind of, at least if you get a sandbox from your company, you can use it. Otherwise, best thing you need to go the learning path. Complete the learning path before you attempting the examination. Next one will be you need to go to the sample question. Okay. Sample question and content. The third will be you need to take the exam topic dumps or exam topic psi. Then find the correct answer. Go to the, I'm again telling you need to go to the discussion part and find it. Then mark it. Then only you will get a correct answer or you can pass the exam. Okay. Thank you. If you have any kind of doubt, please comment below. Thank you.